This weekend's Classico left me as drained as, uh, as drained as Ray Hudson after a Classico. Afterwards, in my decompression chamber known as Moe's Bar and Grill, I sat on my bar stool and reflected on the helter-skelter space mountain football ride I just emotionally exhausted myself with. The one thing that kept shining through my solitary contemplation, silently toasting this classic was many, many memories with each sip of me beer, wasn't the staggering drama or the controversies or the molten lava emotion of the game. It wasn't the wonderful swashbuckling Real Madrid or the amoeba possession game of Barcelona. It wasn't Mamma Mia Di Maria's bravura or Messi's bomb disposal coolness under intense pressure. Now, as I sat alone at Moors amidst basketball fans cheering on the college hoops tournament, I wasn't even in the afterglow of recalling the amazing seven goal slugfest of Hearn's Hagler proportions. What washed over me time after time and kept me smiling into my sixth beer was the sheer magisterial beauty and gorgeous quality of it all. These footballing artists had just created a masterpiece before our eyes. We'd watched footballing Beninis sculpt the ecstasy of St. Teresa in 93 minutes. The wonderment of our game was spectacularly compressed into this big bang classic or sublime football chiseled into art. The pendulum swung between rapture and misery and the swings and roundabouts that crazily connected it all was heaven sent football of an excellence provided by these poets of La Liga. The world of football won on Sunday night. Life beats down your soul. Games of football like this remind us that we have one. Thank you, Barcelona. Thank you, Real Madrid. Cheers indeed.